So in today's lesson, we're going to solve a problem. And the problem is this. Uh, you, you've got some shapes in front of you. Okay, can you just take a look at them with your partners? And what, what kind of shapes do you see? You see triangles? And you see a square? You see squares? All right. In today's lesson, we are going to make one shape using exactly three of those squares and two of those triangles. Do you think it's possible? Yeah. All right, go on. Is it possible? And do you think the shape that you make is the same one as the one that the other groups made? No? no? Really? No. Uh, but even though they are different, is there something that you can say about them um, that they are alike? Are they alike in any way? Yeah. Talk to your friends for a minute. Yeah. All right, sorry to interrupt you. So, in what ways are they alike, even though they are kind of different from each other? They've got the same area. They've got the same area. Is that right? Yeah. How, how do you know they got the same area? Because you need the same shapes. Because you need the same shape? Yeah, we're using the same shape. Oh, you're using the same shapes. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Just using the same shapes, the area would be the same? Yeah. Anyone else? How else, do, how else do we know the area is the same? Because um, we are all using three squares and two triangles. The same number of shapes, the same shapes, in particular three squares and two triangles. Mm -hmm. Yes, go on. And um, they, they, they have the same like amount of sides and, and angles. Is that right? They got the same number of sides. Uh, we don't all agree on that. Is it true that we, the shapes that you make all have the same number of sides? Yeah. Talk to your friends for half a minute. You. Is it true that the different shapes are alike because they have the same number of sides? For example, any group made a shape that are uh, four-sided? So how many sides does the shape have? Ten. Ten? Anyone else have a...? Twelve. Twelve. Oh, so it's possible that the number of sides are different? Oh, okay. So that's, a, that's a, a difference. So how are they different? They are different shapes, and sometimes they have different number of sides. How are they alike? Some of you say they are the same area, and you give some explanation. Anyone else can explain why the different shapes have the same area? What do you mean when the shapes have different area, or the same area? They, they have the name, same amount of um, shapes in it. So, the, it has three squares and two triangles. So, it's 
Everyone has three squares with two triangles in it, so they all have the same area. All right. Anyone else? So what if I want to make a shape that has a smaller area? What, what should I do? Can you talk to your friends for a minute? No, you can take one of the shapes away. All right. Sorry to interrupt you. By the way, uh, the shape that you make is it a bigger has a bigger area than this? For sure. How many times? We don't agree. I hear three, I hear four, I hear five. How many times, I wonder? Four. Four times? Is it really four times as big as the shape that you make? I mean, the shape that you make is four times as big as this one? Yes. Not three? No. Not five? No. Why four times? Because um, we're using the square tiles, that means, um, say this, yeah. and um, because there, we add three on, it's, as, it's four times as much, because it's just that, and then add these four, these two triangles and these two squares, and okay. then it makes... Um, um, four times as much as just a single one of okay. these. Anyone else would like to add to that? Yes, please. Uh, because we use the triangles to make a square, so there's four squares, so there's four times this. Okay. Anyone else? The rest had the same ideas? Okay. All right. Uh, do you think it's ever possible to use the pieces you have to make a four-sided shape? Okay, what? One minute. Could it be another one? Sorry to interrupt you. Which shape do you think is the most common one in this class? You think it's a square? Really? How many groups manage to get a square using the five pieces? So many? Is it really possible to make a square? And the square that you make, how many times is it as big as this one? Is it quite clear it's four times? Yeah. All right. Anyone else make a, diff a shape different from a square? No. What else is possible? What do you have? Uh, a rectangle. A rectangle. You think a rectangle is possible? Yes. yes. Can you quickly show it if you have not yet gotten a rectangle? Yeah. Is it really possible? Yeah. So is it possible? Yeah. Is it possible? Yeah. And what's the area of your rectangle compared to this one? Four times? Four times? Yeah. And if I, if I refer to this as having an area of one square unit, can you tell me the area of your rectangle? Does it make sense? Other than a square or a rectangle, what other four-sided shape is possible? Anyone else manage to make a different four-sided shape? Why don't we try another minute? A a four-sided shape that is neither a square nor a rectangle. Is it possible? Yeah. Go on. Is it possible? 
Maybe it's not, isn't it? Yes, go on. A four-sided shape using a L shape. That one? So one of your one of the groups make a shape that they describe as an L shape. Did any of you thought about making an L shape? Somewhat like this one. Yeah. I, I know that the, the size is not exactly the same. I'm just recording what they mean on here. Is that okay? Yeah. So they make a shape that looks like that. Do you think do you think that's a four-sided shape? No, it's five. 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 I'm not sure how many sides is this. Five. How many? Five? five? five. Yeah. One side. Oh. Are you surprised that L shape has six sides? Yeah. But nevertheless, uh, what's the area of this L shape? Four, four. four square units, isn't it? Still the same as before? Alright, so anyone, any other group managed to make a four-sided shape? Did you guys make one? You think it's four-sided? Yeah. For sure? Yeah. Do you know the name? No. Not sure. Uh, I'm not sure it's four-sided or not, but let me try to draw. Apparently, you put the two squares like so. Is that right? And then another one making a very small L shape, which is probably not four-sided, and then you put in the triangles. Is that right? So the triangles are put in. And here it is, class. I'm not sure whether you would agree whether the shape they make is four-sided or not. Did I, did I show it correctly? What do you think? The triangles went in here and here. Half a minute, talk to each other. Is this really four sided? So, is this really four sided? We can check the top one. One, two, three, four. It's four sided. Anyone happen to know the name of this shape? That's a square, that's a rectangle, and this is a... A shape. It's a shape, yeah. <laughs> uh, it has a name, I forgot what it is. It starts with letter T. Anyone, anyone happen to know? <laughs> is it a triangle? A triangle would have how many sides? Three. Uh, this is a trapezium. Have you heard of it? A trapezium. Some of you have heard it, some of you have not. It doesn't matter. Yeah. So now you have so trapezium. Some people in other parts of the world might call it a trapezoid, but I think in England we call it trapezium. Not so important, but more importantly is the fact that it's four-sided. But does it have the same area as the other shapes before? Yeah. How do you know? It doesn't, right? Does it? Oh, because the two triangles make... Yeah, okay. So does it? So what's the area? Four square units. Yeah, four square units. But is it possible to make... to make a four-sided shape using the two triangles? Just the two triangles? It's possible? Yeah. Just out of curiosity, do you think it's possible to make a three-sided shape, meaning a triangle? Is it possible to use all the same five pieces to make a triangle? Try it, try it. It's going to be pointed at the top. It's going to be like that. Then when it's going to be straight again. 
All right, sorry to interrupt you. Is it possible? Yes. Um, we have, you put the three squares on the bottom and the two triangles um, together, like that. It looked like that? Yeah. Class, what do you think about this? What, what if, what if uh, they, they put three squares to make a rectangle, like so, right? And then the two triangles they have, they kind of make it like a little roof here. How many sides is that? Can you talk to your friends? That's like six or something. How many sides would that be? So let's see. One side. Oh, okay. So it's a lot of sides. Do you, think it, do you think it's ever possible to make a triangle? But what if I say, maybe you don't need to use all the pieces? Is it possible? Yeah. 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 Right, some of you say, what is it? Just this. this. All right, just this. this. Would this be? Okay, all, all this. Is that right? Triangles need to have three sides. So is this a triangle? It is? But what's the area of this thing? Do we all agree? Is it one or is it two square units? Why, why is it one square unit? Uh, class? Why is it one square unit? Because there's two halves um, and two of them make one square. Thank you. Anyone else would like to explain? Um, so, um, basically, there's one triangle, then you put that there. It basically make a diamond there, but now it's a square. A square, right? Okay. Yeah. And um, that's right. it. Yeah, so this is one square unit. What about this one? What's the area of this one? Half square units. Okay. Do you think you can make a triangle that's larger than one square unit? Yeah. Is that a triangle, class? Question, is this a triangle? No, it's it's not? Oh, just add one more piece to it. Like so? Would that be a triangle? No. Yes. 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 Yeah, make a triangle. Hopefully different from the ones that we have. And if you turn it around like that, it can make another one. So what's the area of that one? Um, two. I think this two square units. Two square units? Is it one square unit? Yeah. Don't know. Talk to your friends. Uh, today we are going to start our journal by drawing on the square papers. And then at some point, you may cut this out and place them in your journal. Alright? So for our journal today, uh, let's start working on this. Can you try to, uh, let's take one of the small square as one square unit. So do you see on the square paper, the little squares? Let's take one of that as one square unit. Okay, can you please draw at least two different shapes that has the same area? How big it is, it's up to you. All right, two shapes, two different shapes having the same area. All right, so work on this.
you can check each other's work whether or not the two shapes you have drawn uh, indeed have the same area. Yeah? If you're done already, check each other's work. Can you also write down the area of the two shapes? But do, do write the square units. Yeah? Area is a measurement. It's important to put in the units. So for example, in my case, I would say that the area is equal to how many? Is it right? Mine is four. Be four square units. Okay. All right. Um, sorry to interrupt you. Shall we put away whatever that you are doing? Yeah, for a little while, and let's take a look at the textbook. Can you grab hold of your textbook, please, and try your best to find the problem that we were solving? Where is it? On which page is the problem that we were solving? Spend a few minutes looking at those pages. Did our friends in the book get the same solutions as we did? So talk to each other about that. So talk to each other whether or not the shapes they make are the same ones as the one we make. All right, sorry to interrupt you. On which page is the problem that we were solving today? Is that right? And was that the exact same problem that we were solving using three squares and two triangles to make a shape? And what's your opinion about the four solutions that our friends in the book got? And anything that you want to say about those solutions? Yes, please. They're the same as us, but um, they've done an extra one. They have an extra one? So which solution we didn't have, but our friends in the book managed to get? Is it number one? Is it number two? Number three or number four? So which one is different from the one that we did? Yes? Number four? Did we not get number four? Can we all look at number four? What, what's number four? Oh, that's interesting. Did we not get that? No. Oh, okay. Yes? Um, they've, they've put three squares down and then they've put two, one triangle at the end of the three squares and then one. Um, that's right, they did that, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, and they got a shape that... Anyone happen to know the name? If not, it's okay. <laughs> I don't quite know the name, but you need to help me find out. Uh, it starts with the letter P. It's quite a long name, hence I cannot remember it. <laughs> Anyone want to venture a guess? Pentagon? Pentagon? Pentagon have five sides. Anyway, uh, anyone find out? Maybe you let us know tomorrow. So, number four is different. We did not, but is it the same area? Does it have the same area as the rest that we made? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Which is four square units? Yeah. Are you saying number one, number two, and number three are the same ones that we, we got? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, anything else you want to say about the way our friends were explaining their thinking in, in the book? Anything you like about it? Can you talk to your friends? Something that you like about the way our friends in the book show their way of thinking. Right, one minute. Anything that you like about the way our friends who are explaining their thinking in the textbook? Yeah. The shapes are like colourful. Oh, do you like the way they colour in the shapes? They're colourful, right? I just like they've shown us like how we can change like the trapezium into a square. You like that? The way they drew the diagrams? How, how the trapezium eventually became a square? Is that right? 
Do you see how they draw, how they did that in the book? Yeah. yeah. So they kind of show you how that shape, the trapezium, can eventually become a square uh, by moving something to a new spot. Is that right? Okay. Anything else? Okay, if not, then let's take a look at the guided practice. Can you and your friends try to find out the area of those seven shapes? So the, each square is one square unit, all right? friends have a couple of questions they would like to ask but before we go to that which of these do you think is kind of easy for everyone which shape do you think is quite easy a is quite easy do we all agree and what was the what's the area of a three is that right why is it three yes please there's two squares and then there's two halves do we agree with that? Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Do you see three? Yeah. yeah. Any other shapes on that page has an area of three square units? Yeah. yeah. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. C? Yeah. C has an area of three? Yeah. How do you see that? Um, because you have the square in the middle. Yeah. And then there's four triangles. Yeah. And four triangles make two squares. Oh, okay. Do we agree with that? Yeah. Okay. I'm surprised that A and C has the same area. Does it look like they have the same area to you? Yeah. yeah. To some of us, yes. To some of us, yeah. no. And that is why it's important to measure them rather than just looking at it. Some, some, to some of us, they do, they do look like they have the same area, but not to all of us. But once you measure it, you know once and for all if they indeed have the same area. Any other shapes have area of three? Square units? No. no. The rest are easy? Yeah. The one that I want, want some advice from you is G. You know? It's like this. Um, um, at the bottom corner, um, yeah, um, it's, it's not um, a proper triangle, but if you take um, that um, piece and then you put it onto the square above it, then that makes a hole. It makes one square unit. Is that right? So you're suggesting moving that, that small triangle here, which is not quite a half, to complete the square above it? Okay. Fine. I know why, because the square above it is bigger than a normal half, and the square underneath is smaller than a half. Okay. So oh, so this is bigger than a half, this is smaller than a half, but together they still make one square unit? Is that right? Oh, anyone else would like to help us explain it? Um, that piece, the black line that goes up to the next piece, leads up to being like a right angle triangle because it goes to the halfway point. Is that right? Okay, that's interesting. Um, anything else? Um, on F. Yeah? What um, about F? So oh, what about that? It's some. It's 
It's actually quite easy. Yeah, it's quite easy? Yes, because um, you've got four um, towards right towards where mm -hmm. not where the Y shape is. Um, you've you've got four there, four on the other one, and two in the middle. Oh. So, so you that, see two bunches of fours, right? Yeah. So that's ten. Okay. And then and then on it's actually um, it most of it is straightforward because there's two of every compartment where there's two triangles are together. So every compartment, there's a square. So although it looks like it's quite difficult, it's actually quite easy if you break it up that way. What do you get for F anyway? What's the area of F? 14, 14. 14 square units? Yeah. 14. 14, we all agree? Yeah. 14. And for G? Yeah. For sure? Yeah. How did you get 13? You see 13? Is that right? Yeah. So apparently, which of this is bigger? F or G? F. Does it look like for sure F is bigger? Yes. Does it? To all of you? Yeah. So just by looking, you can tell, oh, F is for, for sure having a bigger area than G. Yeah. For some of us, but not for all of us. And that's why we need to measure it, right? So we cannot just rely on our perception, meaning uh, what it looks like. Isn't it? Uh, how about the, the rest? Was it quite easy for the rest? Yes. yes. Um, D is 10 and E is 9. D is 10? Is that right? Yeah. And E is? 9. Yeah. And B? 5. And of course, you've got to say 5 square units, isn't it? Right? Uh, anyone else would like to say something about those shapes? Like perhaps you've got an idea of finding out the area that make it easier than otherwise? Did any of you come up with ideas like that when you're talking to your friends? You can find all the squares and then count how many triangles there is and then half it. Okay, so you can count the number of? Yeah, and squares. Squares. Yeah. And then you have it? No, you're hot, and then you find the triangles. Oh, you find the triangles. So do the squares first, yeah. then deal with the triangles later on. Okay? How confident are you if we will go to the workbook later on that you're able to do whatever is in the workbook? You're quite confident? Yeah. But before that, shall we write our journal first? So let's take out our journal. Do the usual things you do. Right, your journal number and all that. Yeah, please do that first. Our journal today is for you to draw a shape uh, in your journal. If you need help, you can use this, but I, I hope you can just draw it straight into your journal. Draw a shape that has an area of five and a half square units. Oh, no. All right? Oh, what's a good title? The area of shapes. The area of shapes. But it's up to you, really. A good title tells people who are not here with us what we were doing in class. Yeah? What do you have? that. So how should my triangle look like? So how should a triangle sit on top of this? So if I say this is five and a half, would you agree? No. You wouldn't? No, because I've got triangle. Yeah. So you may want to adjust your diagram. Yeah. If you think you're quite happy with your journal, 
uh, can you find the page in your workbook that we need to work on today? So once you feel that your journal is good enough, put it away and take out your workbook page. Look for it, I'll help your friends look for it and then start working on it, alright? We have about 5 to 10 minutes before the lesson ends. Okay. Yeah, is that right? One, two, three, four, five and a half. Can you just can you record the area of this thing? Just put an arrow and write down the area so I remember what it is. where I'm going to finish. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to see you again for the next lesson. Um, but before we finish, um, don't need to stop what you're doing. But what did we learn today? What did we learn today? How to make figures with triangles. How to make figures with triangles. So in our case today, the two triangles make one square unit. Anything else that we learned today? Let's go on. I learned the shape of the triangles. The triangles. Trapezium, <laughs> the name of the shapes. And there's another one that, oh, I wonder what that's called, isn't it? Um, something else that you learned today? Yes, go on. Anyone else? Um, we learned how half, that half and half make a hole. That's right, the half and half make a hole, isn't it? Two triangles. So we always want to look out for those because that will help us a lot in finding area, isn't it? Uh, we learned that uh, if some shapes can have the same area, but like different parameters. Oh, so. Is that right? So different shapes can have the same area. Yeah. And some of them may even have a different perimeter. You, yeah. you check that out, isn't it? Because you were done a bit earlier. Uh, we learned that, um, how the trapezium can turn into a square. You can imagine how the trapezium can turn into a square, and that will really help us in finding area as well. Right? Anyone else? Okay, if not, I'll see you tomorrow. I'll return you to your teacher. Alright, thank you class.